All right, tech enthusiasts, you know that one of the things that we talk about a lot on the channel here is right there, Kaleidoscape. And we've got our first Presidia news. I'm surprised that this even came out today. I would have expected maybe this would have come out at the show. But if you go to Kaleidoscape.com, what do we have? We have brand new hardware. Yes, we have a new evolution, a new iteration of the Terra. Actually, two iterations, new evolutions of the Terra server. It's called the Terra Prime. We have a hard drive, traditional hard drive version, both in the larger form factor with four drives and the compact version as well. But we have a variant. We have an SSD, a solid state storage version of the Terra as well with the Prime SSD coming in this all sleek black looking chassis. So um, I was hoping, obviously hoping, expecting a lot, uh, always do, out of Kaleidoscape at Cedia time. And we have here kind of the first of our news. Hopefully there's more. So let's talk about the specifics uh, of some of these new Terras. So one of the things right off the bat, I'm sure that people will be interested to know is the sizes. Only a very small change in the sizing for the regular Terras or the new Terra Prime now, actually. Uh, we have 8, 22, 48, and 88. So the 88 and the 48 will come in the larger uh, full rack width, taller chassis. Uh, and the 8 and the 22 will be in the compact form factor like this one here. They discontinued the 12 a little while ago. Six has been the smallest one. Now the six goes away and eight is the entry level storage size. So for the same money, effectively, you're getting two more terabytes in the eight versus the six. The SSD though comes only in two sizes, the prime SSD. We've got an eight terabyte quoted at slightly a little bit less. There may be a little bit more bit loss or actual like effective storage space use in the SSD versus the spinning mechanical drive but they still quoted it's basically an eight terabyte drive in a compact form factor, or we have a 32 or 31 terabyte drive in the larger chassis. Now, according to the marketing information, both of these are upgraded in the same ways. The, the, the Terra, as we know, it was a fun, fundamentally introduced back in 2016. So now here in 2023 is its new evolution. A couple specific differences, and I'm glad that they shared so much technical information about this as well. So we're doubling the memory. 2 gig of RAM in the existing Terra models, 4 gig of RAM in the new Terra Primes. We're bumping up on the Ethernet capability. Gigabit Ethernet in the existing Terra lineup, now 2.5 gigabit networking in the Terra Primes. They're basically, as you'll see, they're powering up the capabilities of this device to be able to download faster, perform better, serve more zones, and basically scale up with maybe the new demands or larger scale demands uh, of some systems that are using Kaleidoscape. Now, if you're a tech enthusiast, you watch the channel, you know that the current Terra models, including the compact I have here, can download a 4K movie in about 12 minutes. I've made the content, I've proved it, I've shown it. However, these new Terra Primes, what are we talking? Four minutes, four minute download. You wanna talk about a piece of content or downloading a movie basically being virtually on demand? I mean, come on, four minutes, you can't even get to the room in four minutes. I found 12 to be very nicely comfortable to be able to kick off a movie download, get the family together, make some popcorn, and gather up to actually watch it. But four minutes, essentially we've crossed a threshold now to Kaleidoscape being on demand. At that point, forget the whole idea, like you don't need to even worry about streaming when you can pop the whole film down in that little amount of time. And then on top of all of that, power consumption, particularly with the SSD model, is down a bit, and noise as well. The documentation quotes something like 25 decibel uh, noise level for the existing Terra models and looking at 17 decibel for the new ones. So if you have your Terra servers maybe in a living room or in a place uh, where they're around you and the, maybe they're making noise, whether that's fan noise or hard drive noise, now you have options and some uh, more advanced hardware to help alleviate that concern. Thankfully for me, my stuff is in my storage room here. It's off in another room. I don't hear any of my equipment. I can have the noisiest stuff in the world and it wouldn't bother me one bit. I'm kind of lucky in that regard. But for those that have very serious installations where that was impactfully, say, detrimental to your home theater experience, it's good to see progress uh, and better technicals, however and whatever form they may take. And as mentioned, the existing spinning hard drive based terrors will, are gonna stay in the silver chassis. The SSDs are in that all black looking motif. I should note as well one of the other kind of side uh, one of the other uh, feature benefits of basically of the SSD Terra Primes is that you can now support up to 25 concurrent playback zones. So if you've got that mega mansion 
and you got Kaleidoscapes all over your system, SSD storage will let you play back to more zones concurrently. We have a limit of 10 concurrent zones with the larger scale Terra Prime and five concurrent zones with the new compact Terra Prime. Now, I think some folks may ask, like, is there a difference in the storage uh, space for actual content in movies between, say, a Terra Prime with a spinning drive and a Terra Prime with an SSD? No, there, there's no fundamental storage difference. I haven't seen anything to suggest otherwise. We're still looking at roughly about 100 movies, give or take, is a good baseline for every six terabytes of storage that you may have in your Kaleidoscape system. So however much storage you want to maintain, however much you want to have in terms of Terra servers, you can do the math and figure out how many movies you would be able to keep locally at one time. But again, now that we're talking about four minute downloads, folks, come on. <laughs> Many, many, many of you can get by absolutely fine and comfortably with that eight terabyte model. Assuming that you're rocking gigabit internet service to your home, and of course you have reasonable data caps that will let you download large movies and turn them over, you know, over the course of a month. But if you want to keep more stuff local, well, buy bigger storage. So both sides can be satisfied, I think, pretty well, even better now in the whole ecosystem. All right, so let's go over the MSRPs. Compact Terra Prime, 8 terabyte, $49.95, $5,000. Same price that the Compact Terra original 6 terabyte used to cost. You're getting a little more value for your dollars there. The SSD variant, though, of the 8 terabyte, we're paying for this ten dollars $99.95. Compact Terra 22 terabyte, the new Terra Prime variant, $10,000, $99.95. So make your choice, right? Do you want speed? Do you want scale? Do you want bandwidth? Or... Do you want more storage? If you're spending 10 grand in the ecosystem, you have your choice. And then we just go up from there. Terra Prime SSD 31 terabyte, $25,000. Terra Prime 88 terabyte spinning hard drives, $25,000. So again, two different models. It's interesting that they put these really up against each other at these exact same price points. And again, you, you pick what you want, massive storage or massive performance. And then slotted in there as well, we still have the Terra Prime 48 terabyte, $15,995, $16,000. Those are all MSRPs. And I think we are expecting to see bundle deals and perhaps some discounts, I don't know. Uh, but there's been existing bundle details for some time, the better part of this year, uh, putting together certain Terra combinations with Strato players. And I believe the expectation from what I'm hearing is that that will continue, but we'll wait and see what the actual new promo bundles and uh, effective price points are. No word yet on a new Strato player. Uh, but we've still got a week until Cedia. So again, I'm hoping to see more out of Kaleidoscape. I really want to see more with regards to features, software features, UI features, capabilities. So we will wait and see. But again, this continues what I consider to be a really banner year for the company from the very beginning of 2023. We've just gotten awesome stuff out of Kaleidoscape the whole way through, and we're continuing here uh, with these. Sound off in the comments. Let me know. I'm really curious as well. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if this SSD model is really attractive to you. Does this solve something in your system or provide some capability that you really needed, you were really jonesing for a solid state drive-based Terra server? Will Techthusiasm be upgrading? Uh, well, wait and see. Uh, to be determined, I guess. I'm still kind of curious what other news may be coming in the next week as well. Stay tuned to the channel. Of course, I will be talking about it and we can dig into all this stuff in a future live podcast coming up as well. Otherwise, hey, if you're going to be buying any of this new Kaleidoscape stuff, of course, there's a referral code down below. If you use it when you're registering a new system, you get $100 in movie store credit, and so do I. And I don't see them there yet, at least of the recording of this video, but I suspect they will be there in very short order. Go to Audio Advice, check out Kaleidoscape, buy your new Terras from them with my affiliate links down in the description below. I'll also put some links to the Kaleidoscape webpage so you can get directly to the product pages for all the new stuff. Pretty awesome that the year of Kaleidoscape continues. Thanks so much for watching and coming back for more home theater discussion and fun.